Good day everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to tackle about the equation of circle with the center at the origin. Let's discuss first or recall first what is the definition of circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are at the fixed distance from a given fixed point on a plane. So let's try to dissect what is this fixed distance and fixed point. The fixed point is, is what we call the center or the center of the circle. From this point, there is a fixed distance from all other points. And this fixed distance is what we call the radius. As, as illustrated in this picture, this is the fixed point. This is the center. Then all of these are points that have the same distance from, the, from this point. So this is, this is the circle. Now let's write the equation of this circle with the center at the origin. To, to do that, we need to select a specific point on this circle and we will name this uh, x, comma y. So that is the coordinate that corresponds with the, the, the location of the, that point on the Cartesian plane. It could be a point here, a point here, a point here. It doesn't matter as long as we have a reference point. Now, we need to, to write the equation of the circle. We need to know the radius of this one. So if we have a given a point, and a point 1 and a point 2, and to get the radius here, we need to find the distance between these two points. Simply put that we need to find the distance formula between, between the two. Or we could just use the Pythagorean theorem in order for us to, they say, to find the measurement of the radius. But this two is just, just the two processes is the same because the distance formula was derived from the Pythagorean formula. So let's get the distance formula of this. So let me show you. If I are using the distance formula, I'll be using D is equivalent or let me change this into RR is equivalent to X sub 1, X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. If we simplify that, let's substitute order given. This will be our point 0.1 and point 0.2. So point 0.2 is x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared. That is equivalent to x squared plus y squared. So let's, let's eliminate this, this radical sign by squaring both sides. So cancel this one. So we have r squared is equivalent to x squared plus y squared. So this is the same as the Pythagorean formula. We get the square of this and the square of this. is it, this two, The sum of these two is equivalent to the square of this. So here, are now, here is our this. Here is our circle equation with the center at the origin. This is the general form. Now let's apply the circle equation in answering questions about this. So what is the equation of the circle with a center at the origin and a radius of, of 3? So let's find our givens. So, so we have the center at 0, 0 and radius is 3 unit. So the solution, let's write the circle equation that corresponds with the center at the origin. Then after that, let's substitute the radius and let's simplify it further. So this is now the circle equation whose center at the origin with the radius of three. Now, another example, what is the equation of the circle with the center at the origin and diameter of 12? units. Remember that diameter is twice as the radius. So meaning we don't need a diameter but we need the radius. So half of 12 is is 6 units. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this one and this one. Now the, cent the circle equation for the or the or if the circle is at the origin is this one. All we need to do is to substitute 6 to r. Then we have now the following equation. So this is the circle equation for this 
for a circle whose center at the, set, the, the origin and whose radius is 6 units. Now this one is kinda cool or kinda confusing at first because the given here is the area of the circle. So let's find the equation of the circle whose area is at this at the whose area is this one? 144 by unit squared. We know that the given that the center is at the origin, and we know that the area is 144 units squared. Now to do this, let's solve for the radius. Now the formula the area of the circle is equivalent to pi r squared. Now since this is the area of the circle, we just need to equate them together. So pi r squared is equivalent to 144 4 unit squared. So let's divide both sides by pi to cancel out pi. So we have r squared is equivalent to 144 unit squared. So next, what, what I'm going to do is to get the square root of both sides. So r is equivalent to 12 units. So that's what our r is. So for the solution, let's just substitute r to the circle equation. And we have this as our answer. Next, what is the equation of a circle with a center at the origin and with a circumference of 14 unit, 14 pi units? Again, the center is at the origin, that's 0, 0. The circumference is 14 pi units. And let's solve for the r. So the r is 7 units, and let me show you how that. The circumference of the circle is equivalent to 2 r 2 pi r. So this is the circumference of the circle. Since it is equal to 14 pi units, we just need to equate them together. Next thing that we need to do is to divide both sides by 2 pi. So cancel this, cancel this. So r is equivalent to 7 units. So that's our r. Now all we need to do is substitute that on the circle equation and now we have our equation of the circle with this circumference and center at the origin. Next is a circle has its center at the origin and it passes through and it passes through point 0.1 comma negative 3. What is the equation of the circle? So let us think of it that the center Think of it first, the center is at the origin, and we don't have the value for r. But we know that the circle will pass through 1, comma 3. So if this is the circle, this is the origin, so this is 1, comma negative 3. So this point, the circle will pass through this point. Meaning, if we get the distance from the, region, from the center to, to this point, we'll be getting the r. So we will use this and this to get the value for r. So all we need to do is to solve for r. Let's just substitute um, value of x, that is 1, and negative 3, that is y. And we will now get the value of r. So r squared is 10, and r is equal to square root of 10. Now we can write the circle equation. Okay? Next is, again, same question, but it will pass to this point. Let's identify all again our given. And let's just solve for r first. Negative 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 squared is 16. And we have 52. So r is equivalent to square root of 52. And this will be our circle equation. Same kind of problem. But this one, different point, it will pass through. So I hope that you practice yourself with this by having these three examples. So again, these are the given. Let's solve for r. Let's substitute 12 to x and negative 5 to y. And that gives us this. And our radius is what is 13. Square root of, we get to get the square root of this one to get the radius. So the square radius is 13. Now to add, to solve for the circle equation, we just substitute the r to the formula. Now, what the what 
write the equation of the circle with the center at 0, 0 and with the radius of 5 and graph it. So now it's, we have to graph it. So first, let's write the circle equation. The, the thing is, all we need to consider in graphing is the center and the radius. As you can see on the graph of this circle, I just mark the center and I just count 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and mark this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mark this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mark this point. 2, 3, 4, 5 and mark this point. And now using a compass, I could just write or draw the circle precisely. So that's how I grab it. Now to write the equation, just substitute the value of r to the equation of the circle whose center at the origin. And you now have the equation and the graph of the circle. Let's try another one. This one is we have a given of a graph and we need to we need to tell what is the center and what is the radius here. All we need to do is to find the center and the radius. So at this point, this is the center. So the center is 0, 0. And the radius is 6 units. So that's all that we need. And then after that, we'll just write the equation of the circle. Okay? Next is find the center and the radius. So this is the vice versa of the problem. We are given with the... We're given with an equation in order to find the center in the radius so that we could graph it. So at this point, this is the given. So all we need to do is to dissect it. Since that this is in the form of this in this form, we can say that this has a center of 0, 0. And it has a radius of 5. So we just equate 25 to r squared. That's what we do. And then we get the square root of both sides and have R as our radius. So this will be our center and our radius. Find the center and the radius of this one. As you can see, this one is kind of tricky because it's not in the form of X squared plus Y squared because there is 2 here. So all we need to do is to simplify it further and divide both sides by 2. So that gives us X squared plus Y squared is equal to 9. So this will be our, simpli our simplified equation. Now by this one, we can say that the center is at 0, 0. And then we need to equate r squared to 9 in order for us to get the radius, which is 3. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something today. And I hope this would help you in your study in circle equation and in math 10. So bye for now and see you on the next video tutorial.